Welcome back folks and welcome to Let's Talk Ships and today I decide to talk about Grozovoy and Udaloy. I will actually compare those two ships even though one is tier 9 and one is tier 10 and, and also of course I can uh, talk about a little bit about um, uh, uh, tier 10 Khabarovsk but Many of you guys, even Flamu, say that this is absolute trash and this absolute no good and is one of the worst destroyer has no fun whatsoever. I played with her and this is a test server, uh, the PTS. Uh, so I know what I'm talking about. I have 19 points captain and let's go fast to the build and the captain's point. This is the first I, I choose, prevent maintenance. Uh, first I went for last stand and then I went for superintendent from here of course you can change to maybe demo expert or even the survivor expert uh, this is the the reason i will choose this one i'll, I'll tell you why it's just an option there's at least two more pick if you so wish or not or even three and i went for concealment i went for advanced fire and training and this is 19 point capsule all right well, let's go and talk about the module the module I pick for this one, it's kind of a weird main armament modification one. Do believe it's the best. Now over here, of course, you have this opportunity to put this aiming, but here's the deal. Uh, I choose to go for AA mod two. And on the third one, of course, you can put for AA mod three, and then you have AD in AA, AA defense 80. Definitely one of the best AA uh, destroyer in this game. AA, if, if you want. But I actually want more uh, reload and I want more DPN because the recently from Live Server, this new next patch were giving me the site to buff a little bit the range and rate of fire. Not a whole lot, but slightly. And I, you, I urge you to do take this one because you have a absolutely worthless no good uh, rather shift and I went for a concealment now what's so special about the concealment in this build I got her to 6.9 kilometers 6.9 and of course I this uh, you have everything up except the those tops 53.50 which makes 129 seconds to reload which is bloody two minutes and uh, 665 knots torpedo speed and will do 10 kilometers they are absolutely workable torpedoes remember you have stealth 6.9 you are one of the stealthiest russian destroyer in this game but you pay it with a lot of things and i'll, I'll just very short uh, information you have one of the shortest range you see basic uh, main battery frame range it's 11 kilometers And with advanced fire and training, I have her to 13.2. 13.2, it's not bad, to be honest with you. It used to be much uh, uh, worse. If I'm not mistaken, please let me know what it's today live version of uh, uh, Grozovoy. I do believe it's only 10 point something, definitely not 11. So she got buffed in range, which, uh, to be honest with you, 13.2, uh, it's okay, but not something amazing. Why is that? Because Udaloy, which is, uh, I don't have advanced fire and training, but I know, and Kiev can both of them uh, shoot today live version at 14.6. So 14.6 to 13.2, mm, you know what I mean. But the biggest difference between Udaloy and Grozovoy, because let's face it, it's those two closest brothers, how should I say, one is tier 9 and one is tier 10, but uh, it's first it slightly improved the speed uh, Udaloy has better f speed of 40 knots I have no speed flag no I don't so it's f 40 40 knots and Grozovoy as 39.5 it's not a whole lot different right no I don't have any flag the problem is that of the uh, ammunition, if you go for AA, then you have don't have the speed boost. But you have AA defense, you know, and you have smoke and repair party. 
But the biggest difference between those, those two uh, uh, destroyers, folks, it's two things. One range, 14.6 kilometers, I'm talking about the main uh, main armament, and, and, and there it's good. And Udal, um, sorry, Kiev also have. Now with this, you, you can see 12.1, I don't have uh, 19 points captain. I don't have advanced fire training. You see, with advanced fire training, I'll put those guns to 14.6. Now, the biggest difference, uh, uh, once again, it's actually not about the speed. It's slightly, it's turning circle radius. 610 meters versus, and I do have in both of them the same module. I'm talking about this uh, uh, rudder shift time. It's 3.7, it's not bad, but the turning radius 720. I have struggled to avoid torps to be honest with you, 720 for me and something also else that I kind of forgot module it's the engine horsepower you have here uh, 73,000 horsepower versus Udaloy 84,500 which basically means folks that this will shift and this is nothing 84 uh, thousand horsepower it's nothing because if I'm going to uh, Khabarovsk it has 130 horsepower which basically means folks if you want to speed away from a smoke or you know get away to avoid shells here's my final thoughts you avoid a whole lot easier left and right because your turn is radius it's 760 without modules and you know upgraded modules but i'm talking about the engine you really shift in this uh, 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 destroyer unfortunately not much in grozovoy uh, so that it's a little bit the the downside i'm talking about the speed turning radius but there's for me, you have to play it a little different. You don't have the firepower uh, as uh, Khabarovsk. You are not the ultimate uh, destroyer killer. It's Khabarovsk, it is. And from far range, it does not matter what kind of captain you are. You have to respect Kiev. Because Kiev, I played uh, with this, I was uh, low bottom, I'm talking about, I was engaging tier 10 and tier 9 destroyers. With Kiev, he doesn't care what ship you are. You will get, uh, how should I say, not DPM, but let me put it this way. The most dangerous uh, destroyer you can face in this game is at tier 8. I'm talking about uh, this uh, new oncoming patch in 6.3. It's Kiev, Udaloy. And Kabarovs, but be uh, before Kabarovs, if you are a Japanese or a US uh, ship, don't forget. And this is kind of important. I have reload and I have same captain's point. Uh, four seconds with my Odaloy, reload every four seconds. Uh, HE and AP will do 900 meters per second. Grozovoy. It's becoming a DPM monster. 3.3. I have reload 3.3 seconds and do 950 meters per second the shells of HAP. I will hit you as a US destroyer or a US um, or Japanese destroyer. The problem is, uh, and this is uh, how I feel, when a cruiser uh, try to shoot you or a battleship, you kind of struggle to... Um, avoid the shelves but when you're gun fighting another destroyer if it's not Russian remember if it's not Russian you don't have any issue to hit you don't quite have the range of a uh, Kiev or an Udaloy or uh, I don't know exactly please let me know what is the range about uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, Habarovs it's around 13 13.6 something like that and that's big different in range now it used to be a whole lot bigger different but not now but I still like this ship. No matter what Flamu or what other uh, uh, YouTubers said that it's this is absolutely trash, it's not. It has been uh, buffed a little bit. 
The downside is that when you are in the smoke and there's torpedo on the way, if you want to get the hell out of there, if you don't have speed boost because you have AA defense, it takes forever for the ship to um, move, to move, to shift. And something also uh, kind of a weird I discover personally myself today. When you're turning with this ship, it slowed down like crazy. I mean, I had one game, I had a struggle, a really huge struggle to uh, sell and shoot an aircraft carrier, a tier 10 Hero. I know what kind of speed that thing has, but I kind of forgot my speed flag. With this one, you, I urge you to put a speed, a speed flags. Otherwise, if, if you know, you have struggled to, uh, even though you're supposed to have one of the fastest uh, uh, ships in this game, you're not quite there. Especially when you're slightly turning. To, let's say if you want to use those guns and you're slightly turning, you are going from, you know, uh, 39.5 all the way to 35 knots, you know, and you're not that fast anymore. It's really... How should I f uh, f feel? It's the mechanic how, how this sells in the water. It's like you break in a lot as soon as you do one slightly move right and left. So that's the only it, it's about the movement and, and but concealment guys for 6.9 it's bloody amazing. And uh, Udalo is not far away, it's uh, 7.2 with the concealment expert and with the uh, uh, paint and uh, stuff like that. So it is worker. You still have, you know, 800 meters you, you can uh, uh, stealth torp. And same goes with uh, uh, Grozovo, it's even bigger. From 6.9 you have almost 3 kilometers if you chose this one. So my personal opinion is that of course there's a lot of different builds and uh, uh, by the way this is something very important. I have AA right now at 72. I'm not saying that I will wreck uh, uh, AA uh, tier 10 uh, because I was facing a lot of aircraft carrier. I shot down around 1820 when they tried to hit my ally but I did not face any tier 9 or tier 10 aircraft carrier and in that regard if you're top tier and there's a tier 8 aircraft carrier you even with this build which is not the best uh, let me just put in this way you can have this even more ridiculous to put this 3 million uh, and then you have AD in AA uh, so you will wreck down uh, take down place like flies not so much once uh, once again without this aa not so much in tier 10 uh, aircraft carrier you might take down and maybe i use it for self defense because i do this panic but it was not like flamu it was uh, versus i don't know five or six uh, bots they who shoot the, down the, the whole fleet you know, it's not that powerful but it's not bad i mean for aa defense it's 4.4 25 millimeters and those 45 5.1 and 7.5 wow that is good that is really good but it's it's not like woo the moins or something no 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 it's for self defense only but it's need to have that how should i say if for aircraft carrier is going for you you she better come with more than one squad that's what i'm trying to say because if you manual uh, select the squad you have such a big um, panic when you're pressing the aa that the torpedo will go all over the place and uh, it's very unsmart for um, tier 8 especially and some tier 9's aircraft carrying going for you it's smarter for go to something else uh, because let's face it you still have AA and you have one of the best AA uh, destroys wise in this game so she's different don't get me wrong uh, if I'm facing a Kabarovs I'm not that stupid to open fire but I have the stealth to just sell away if I can I'm not saying that uh, the Kabarovs is trying to chase me he can chase me all game and still kill me you know because he has more guns and stuff like that but the DPM is here and something also as I told, I told you about the the shell arc or so damn flat you never gonna believe I have very easy to shoot enemy destroyers and um, 
uh, yeah maybe it's the downside uh, let me just very short uh, percentage to put on fire fire range straight 13.28 percent I have eight percent here and Udaloy will have nine nine maybe Udaloy is it's also eight percent so they buffed uh, folks they buffed in this um, new patch even the Grozovoy uh, HE and percent of put on fire the same as Udaloy there's you see uh, I'm talking about the percentage there you put your enemy on fire and uh, come on 3.3 it's Fletcher's level of rate of fire and with Fletcher uh, by the way it's not that easy you shoot uh, and kill other destroyer within 10 or 11 kilometers you can just forget it oh no I, I understand that Fletcher has 5.8 concealment and she will uh, detect uh, you know a whole lot uh, earlier but the truth is and this is also the final Japanese destroyer are becoming more or less pure torpedo boats US become more or less a US destroyer smoke and of course they can still use their the torpedo because they have one of the best torpedoes in this game I'm talking about tier 9 and tier 10 and the biggest winner are actually the German destroyers and Russian destroyers because uh, the German destroyers uh, before when they use the guns um, let, let, let me just put it in this simple way when a Z23 or Z46 opened fire the bloom was bigger than the range of the guns now the spotting range it's the maximum firing range so that's what I'm trying to say uh, so they got actually buffed uh, the downside is um, Japanese they Japanese they are screwed yeah it's 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 true I when I play with my uh, Russian destroyer I have no issue whatsoever and I can see very few US player very few US uh, destroyers and very few um, some they try Akizuki <laughs> and for me Akizuki at today's uh, change it's a just food it's a very good tasty snacks for Russian uh, destroyers what do you think about Grozovoy? She is different versus Kabarovs and um, Udaloy. With Udaloy, you are uh, more or less easy uh, runner. That it's more or less like Kabarovs. You're shooting from very far range. Matter of fact, you have very good range. And uh, you, in some cases, you can use your torpedo. Eight kilometers, not bad, and they are very fast. And you have very good maneuverably versus other like Trashkent and uh, Grozovoy. But don't forget, I do still believe that Grozovoy have something else that no other destroyer has. It's AA defense and very good workable DPM. It's a DPM monster. It's basically close to US destroyer line at 3.3 seconds reload with my build and of course I have this uh, 3 uh, million credits main battery modification 3 please let me know what you think about the new buffed Grozovoy um, I uh, I'm not saying she's perfect she has downside but she's not worthless in the next patch she will be slightly better than today's and uh, in some cases pretty decent tier 10 destroyer I mean come on guys they they played uh, the play style of Grozovoy and Kabarovs is totally different don't forget that in Kabarovs you will be detected all the time even though you have 10 kilometers torps and so on but the, the, the play style you how you play your trash can and Kabarovs is totally different than Grozovoy in Grozovoy, if you're a smart uh, captain, 
you may know when to open the fire and when to go into your concealment because concealment it's not bad it's not great but not bad either and when someone is a little bit too close you can always pop the smoke and dpm the crap out of that destroyer or that cruiser or that uh you know yamato or whatever it is because let's face it you do enjoy uh, shooting as a slow battleship at 3.2 sec 3.3 seconds each and every round even though you have only six guns it doesn't matter you are a dpm monster after all so thanks guys for watching please subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and catch you in the next time bye